Hi, this is Lucy and welcome to a Fallout 76 camp tour. Today I am on Anna, who is my lowest level character. She used to be my mule. Um, I got her out at meet week, she was level 14 and I think I got her up to about level 26 during meet week. I have now got her up to about level 60 I think. I started building her a camp when she was level 14 because she had no camp. Uh, she just had a wooden platform with a stash box on it and I felt it was a bit unfair that she was the only character without a camp. So, um, the inspiration for this camp came from Pinterest. There is a watercolour artist who goes around Tokyo taking um, on Google Maps, taking screenshots and she has all these really nice little vignettes. Oh, there we go. I'll be right back. She does these little vignettes of these sort of old fashioned um, stores and cafes in Tokyo and that's what inspired this build. I like this idea so much that I actually think I am going to take it a bit further on my main character and maybe build Tiny Tokyo or Tiny Japan um, and see how I get on with that. But I thought I'd give you a tour of this camp anyway. Um, I also have an announcement. Um, I have started my own Discord. It is mostly about building, but you can talk about whatever you want in there. I have sections for 76, Fallout 4, No Man's Sky and ESO at the moment because those are the games that I play most of the time. So the link is down below. So feel free to pop in and say hi. Right, let's get on with the tour. This is my tea house. I had a little bit of budget left. Originally I put the workbenches upstairs. I had a little bit of budget left so I built this on the side because I didn't want to go up two flights of stairs every time I needed to use a workbench. Anna is a herbivore so I have fruit and veg. I also have a Brahmin. Her name is Nomad. My first Brahmin in the game I called Houdini because she used to get out of everything. Didn't matter what I put her in she would morph through walls. So Nomad. Nomad likes to go walk about. <laughs> I got back to my camp one day and she was nowhere to be seen and I looked over here and she was in New Gad. <laughs> she was all the way down there being chased by super mutants and floaters. So yeah, that was interesting. I have also seen her right the way over there. She goes up the hill, down the road. <laughs> So she is nomad. I have everything I need for an early camp. I have water, although there is water down near New Gad. This thing is quite useful early on in the game. If you want to find a camera um, and that quest, there is actually a quest on here for investigate the, uh, the body. So you can find, it will start a quest and you can actually find the tourist with the camera because it will be an active quest, it will be a marker on the map. So there's that, that's a tip for you. I have a guitar. These are all my workbenches. It is a little store, I have a vending machine in here. I put this counter in and flamer trapped it and then put the windows on. I wanted to be able to put something on the outside here, use it as a shelf. I can only just balance them on the edge. If you try and move them back they just sort of snap to the window and go red. So I will try maybe and do something, try and perfect that technique. This is the tea house. These are stools that I've 
done a foundation merge on to um, sink them so that they look like cushions on the floor. You can sit on them, but obviously your legs are through the floor, but I think it looks okay. The biggest problem with this camp was because the budget was set when I was level 14, I am very short of budget. But I think I've done okay given those constrictions. On the next level I have living quarters. I have created a double bed. You can, it is a mattress, so you only get rested, not well rested. That really is annoying, isn't it? So, but you can put two people on that. I just merged them together using a pressure plate, the same with the lamps. And once I took my workbenches out from upstairs, I didn't know what to do here, so I created a little garden. Sort of chill space. The roof, what I did was I put a wall down here. I attached one piece of roof. It's the green roof. I changed it to... Um, a corner piece to break the dependency, took the wall off and then you could obviously attach all the other roofs. These are just pillars. I can't remember, I think I must have flame and trapped the walls and then put the pillars in. They don't go to the corners. You could put a ladder up and put floors up. If you wanted to do that to put the pillars in I think there was an order issue with that I can't remember to be honest but it is something that I will experiment with again because I think it looks it looks nice obviously this is one of the new stackable staircases this one doesn't have a tripping hazard it has a gap <laughs> because yay Bethesda So I really like this build, it's really easy to use. I would have loved to have been able to put some kanji up. I did experiment with a few symbols and things but I couldn't make anything that actually made any sense. <laughs> so decided to desist. The interesting thing about this roof is it's an optical illusion. It does look like it's sloping upwards when it's not. It's completely flat. I kind of like that. We'll ignore the uh, marks on the wall from the Liberators. God, I hate them. <laughs> right, I hope you like this. I hope you'd like to see more inspired by the same source. Um, and I hope to see you on my Discord soon. Let me know what you think in the comments. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching.